What's up, everybody? It's the White Gibson Jr. Uh, don't mind the shirt. Just gonna be doing a little cable teaching today. I don't have all of the equipment to really teach it, but this is just for my Hebrew people or black people that are uh, just starting cable. Don't don't know anything. You you thinking about going into cable? You're not sure. Whatever the case, I just show you some things or just some pointers or whatever. You know, I, I don't have all the tools to really go through everything, but I'll show you something uh, in a little bit of time that I got. Like I said, this is a it's a company I used to work for, but I don't work for them right now. It's called X3. It's an undershirt. I'm just wearing it, okay? I don't have any clean shirts. I got the, the laundry on right now. So, whatever. Maybe I should have did this video at a different time, but I just felt to do it now, whatever. Um, anyway, I don't have any bad runners with this company, okay? This company is really like been good to me i left the company because i got uh promoted to a different company that had that i'm um, offered more money or whatever it's like this like a temp agency type company and i kind of like went to a company company so kind of like they was like all right you know blah 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 you know i can come back anytime i want if i was not disabled okay excuse me um so anyway uh so what i want to get into is really how to find the the junction box all right so when you go into when you go into an apartment like the one i have and there are no external wires that's going outside of the outside of the apartment complex and then running externally inside of the house to whatever rooms you got to drill holes and stuff um it's going to be pre-wired okay pre-wired is like the wires pre-wired basically what it is it's already wired inside of the, the the wall or whatever okay so it already goes where it needs to go Okay, in a case like this, if something didn't work, you basically like have to call in, tell them that they need to find an electrician, call an electrician, and they can run you new wires, whatever. But um, you know, you have some people that do it for you anyway. But anyway, it'll be like this, okay? Four screws, and you want to find it, okay? So how do you find it? You basically gotta look for it if the customer don't know where it is. Also, um, this is the junction box of the, the, the particular apartment that you're in sometimes the apartment is not hooked up at the main feed and the main feed is going to be uh wherever you got to find it the main feed might be downstairs in the garage area basement area it might be a junction area downstairs or it might be in a hallway somewhere you know in a stairwell somewhere on a roof which is not likely you know or in somewhere is going to be um the junction the main feeds the main feed might even be outside okay you gotta find that main feed, wherever your provider is, this is the main feed, okay? So, if this was Comcast, you would go and try to find where Comcast is come, is the main feed is at, at, at in the side of the apartment complex. And you wanna make sure you have the right apartment, you, and the, the right apartment is hooked into the main feed. That's all you need to worry about. If that main feed work, everything else gonna work. Don't worry about it. As long as you can find the apartment, it's gonna be good. All right, so if sometimes you can't find an apartment, you wanna use what we call the toner whatever there's different kinds of toners you got the color toners you got the color ones you got the ones that have the numbers on it um then you that light up the number that it is and then you have the you know the ones with the the sound okay that actually the tone out with the sound which are the better ones to use um because it'll find it any like it don't have to be the exact wire if you got a bundles of wire 100 wires there all you gotta do is scan across those wires and find the area then weed out the others and then go across those few until you find the direct one okay so it's easier to have that one you know but these work just as good okay um you just gotta like kind of be a good tech to kind of know how to find things all right so you find that main feed find that wire and the main the reason why you would use these for trying to find the wires because sometimes or actually most of the time if you don't cable in today's age the wires that you're looking for is not going to have the apartment number on it you know, it might be just that. It might, I mean, especially if you're black in, a, in an area that's like this white. If you, if you get the job like that, it's always gonna be something that's hard, okay? So um, they, they, they lazy out here, okay? So they'll give the black people the hard jobs. Only two black people I've ever met here that uh, do cable, or rather right now that's doing cable. I'm not doing it anymore, so it's one, okay? One black person, all right? So they'll give you the crazy jobs they don't wanna do for real, lazy and stuff. So. You go, tone it out. It will have no number on it. You gotta find it. So basically, you tone it out. So you want to do what you want to do is find the easier way for for anybody to do it is to find the main feed in the house. If you got it like this, 
it's easy peasy for you to find it, okay? So you wanna do it from the inside, which is what I would do from the junction box. So you already know, most of the time, if you get used to doing cable, the right side is the side that's going to the bedrooms, okay? And most of the time, if you have two discolored ones, one black, one white, this is, these are the main feeds, okay? Like, why is one black, why is one white? These are where the main feeds are coming, and they come from the left side, okay? Most of the time, all right? Sometimes it's all crazy, but these are two bedrooms, okay? I only got two rooms that have cable in it, cable jacks in it, so these are the two rooms. All right, so this one. So you can use whichever one is there, okay? The black one, the white one. If you can't find a white one, get the black one. If you can't find a black one, get the white one. So you will hook both of them up, okay? You put both, put both of them in there, hook both of them up, bop, bop, you know, red and green, and you will go to the main feed, you will go to the main feed, and then you would find it using this, okay? Use this right here, all right? And um, I don't have enough video time to actually go to the jacks in my in my bedroom and then unhook it and then do it for like I'm trying to do like a 10 minute 15 minute video I'm already at six minutes so I don't have enough time to do all that but I'm just show you this and then I'll do another video on the splitters and stuff so that's how you would tone out or whatever maybe I can just do that real quick I don't have any fittings okay I don't work with Comcast or nothing like that anymore so I don't have any equipment like that like fittings and stuff I do have a few splitters left though so I'm gonna go hook it up Try to hook it up real quick and then come back and then show you. All right, so I'm gonna take you with me, come on. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I would do. So you already see here, the junction box is here in the laundry room, okay? You could be, it'd be crazy places. You wanna make sure, you wanna make sure you um, check the whole house, okay? It could be anywhere, it could be in a closet, hall closet, it could be anywhere, okay? So with this, try to get the position. This is one jack right here, okay? Right here, all right? So with this jack, uh, what you wanna focus on too is that you see the white in the inside here? All right, let me get a position, hold on. You see the white in the inside right here? This is a universal one, one that you can use for direct TV and Comcast, okay? And you have your ethernet, okay? I'm not gonna explain the ethernet, all right? But I can, but I'm not going to. Just talk about cable right now. All right, so, um, this is the white one. The white one can go with Direct TV, Comcast, whatever, whatever, whatever. But you mainly want to use one that's blue. So what I would do, if I had time, I would take this and replace it. Okay, I would, repl I would replace this and put a blue one in there because it might mess with your signal. So what you want to do is twist this out. If I can find a position to put this while I'm doing this. All right. Hopefully not fall. And yes, you can use a drill, but I do it the I do it the real man way. I you know I'll be real quick with it, cause I keep my tools like these are smaller tools, and I keep them on my person or in my bag, so I can do quick. And I just basically do work. I just get get with it for real. Like I use my hands, use my fingers. I just go quickly, because when you gotta carry your drill, that's heavy weight and stuff. All right. So when the inside, you got your Ethernet hooked up, which is in the in the that junction box also. But you want to look for the cable. This is a small. This is a cat. Okay. Whatever cat it is, 6.5, whatever, you can read it and find out which one it is. But you're looking for the cable, the RG6, okay? And this is this right here, okay? So this is it. And what you want to do, if I had fittings, I would put the fitting on here. I did this myself. Um, I, I, I did that. But anyway, it don't matter if it's like this. A person can just cut a new one because you see how long this thing is. You just cut a whole new one and do it, whatever. But um, yeah, you put a fitting on this and you put the tone on it. So... Uh, and then you would, you would put the, the, like I said, put the fitting on it, and then you would hook it into here, okay? And you would twist it in, okay? Like that. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. All right, so basically, you would put it in here, all right, I, I know this is bootleg, but you got all kinds of ways to do this thing. All right, so I'm using the blue one, okay? The blue one, watch it work. So, another thing too with Direct TV, you don't want to use the blue or green colors. You don't want to use the blue or green colors at all when you're doing um, switching Direct TV to Comcast. Because you might um, not know that it's a, a power pack hooked up somewhere in the attic or a crawl space. You want to use the black one and the red one only, okay? And the black and the red one, 
you'll definitely find the line. If you have a blue and green one, you're not sure that it's, it's a, a split in a way or it's a power pack in a way, and you think that you found the line, but you really, you ran into a power pack, okay? It's difficult things about that. So that's the blue one. Even though it's in there funny, still gonna work. So we're gonna go take this back in here. Got about five minutes, hurry up. So, back in here draw right here all right so how would you find that line it's out of these two lines already these are the main feed so again here you press the button here and it'll light up the color that is the second the second one you be looking for all right that's nothing okay it's red when you see it's red like that when it's red I see it's showing red and all different kinds of colors. When it's red in there, when it show red right here, it's hooked up to a power pack or it's cut off or something like that. But with Direct TV, it's a power pack there, okay? All right, so you see this one, it lit up blue, okay? It lit up blue. And I already checked it with the other color, so I already know it's, it's a direct connect. So you put it in there, it's blue. All right, that's the line I'm looking for, okay? That's the bedroom, we try and get that hooked up in, bop, 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 that's it, bam, it's found. It's found or whatever. So you go back. So you go back. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, I don't have any fitting. And that's how you just make things work or whatever. Make things work and you go back to the truck and get the fittings later. Find your line first. Especially if you got a big house, find your lines first. Go back and get the fittings later. Label all your lines. Go get the fittings, run back, hook them up, bop, 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 bop. Don't sit there, you know, it's wasting time. So anyway, so you take that off, blah, blah, blah. And I'm not gonna hook it up and keep it unhooked because that's how it was when I came into the apartment. It's unhooked. All right, so just put this back where I found it. Bada, bada, bada. All right. Oh, sorry. sorry, everybody. Forgetting stuff. We right back. Cause I don't got my tools on me. I'm forgetting stuff. I'm just just chilling in my house. But I'm doing this as if I'm trying to like as if I'm doing cable right now. You only got a certain amount of time to get it done. Being it don't come in here. We're doing something. All right. So that's what you want to do. So that's how you do that. Come on. Come on. I ain't never do this on the camera before. Anyway. Alright, so that's that. Don't have no camera man. Wish I did have a camera man. Anyway, so you do that, put it back. Like I said, I do it the, the manual way. I do it the manual way because is you know you can keep smaller tools on you. Yeah, you can put the drill on you but i only use the drill when i'm doing like outside stuff and i gotta really drill inside of the wall you know type stuff like that like using rokas as they call it they call it other stuff here in utah or whatever but we call it rokas on the east coast all right you do the check so bam it's back on and that's your line okay that's how you find your line so you found your line and you come in and you hook your line up okay so how do you hook the line up? All right, and again, this is for newbies. About one minute left, pretty much. So I'm gonna try to hurry up. So the line that you found, I forgot which one it was already, but normally if I found it, I would do something crazy, like sit it over here or like wrap it into this or tape it or something. I would sit it some kind of crazy way out of the way to know that it's the line or tape it together or something or put a fitting on it, something. I'll do something to, to know that it's the line. So anyway, you do that. You have what we call splitters, okay? Okay, this is a four-way splitter. All right, it looked like it's five, but it's four, okay? So you can read it. You can read it and know where to hook it up at. Like, if you're doing cable, you should already know. But if you just first time using this, a four-way splitter, you don't know which what. The always the, at the top, the three at the top, the middle one is the main feed. That's where you take this, okay? 
wherever the main feet at, it might be this one or this one. Let's just say it's the black one, okay? Because black is normally for outside, so we'll just say it's the black one. And you put that black one in the middle, okay? No, you can't really see that, but you put that black one in the middle. And then, and after you put it in the middle, this is for like one, two, three, four. Four, if you have four lines in the house, you use all four of them, okay? If you got any more than that, if it's a good signal, you got any more than that, you want to use the amplifier because the signal, the, the split is going to take down the signal, okay? All right? And it'll tell you how much it's taking down by a five point. I don't know if it's seven or five. This is a five, okay? So when you plug it in, it comes in. Each of these is going to take off five dB, okay? It's going to take the radio frequency, the radio frequency down by five points, okay? If or each hookup. So you hook this up, it's going to take it down by five points. And whatever the signal is coming at at that room, that's what the signal is going to be. So if the signal is not that good, you want to make sure you put an amplifier on it. If it is good, you can put this four-way on it because it's still going to be a good signal. And to read signal, that's something that you have to learn later. All right. Whenever if you ever do cable, okay, or if you're interested. All right, so that's that. So oh, let me just show y'all this. So if you do it with a uh, two-way, which is this, you might see a funny, you might see a funny one like this, okay? Funny two-way like this. Don't get scared, okay? Just read it, okay? And you'll know where to plug whatever, whatever up. And read the signals, what it take down, what the signal take down. That's what it's there for, to read it. All right, so this is a, a one that they use here, ComScope. But over the East Coast, we use, we use Antronics. Also here they have indoor outdoor fitness where we from well though they have outdoor fittings only with the rubber boots on it but where we from you have indoor and outdoor okay indoor and outdoor so you have fittings already ready to the outside it, it, it kills time okay so you just plug it in it already got the rubber on it all right so it kills a lot of time so you being out in the cold so basically with this one right here the top is the is the main feed okay it's where you feed it in as the top and the two down here is where you would plug it up, okay? So, but this, this is the main one you want to use in an apartment like this, okay? So, you can hook up both your rooms. That's what you really want to do. So, this will go in the top, bop, and then you want to hook up these two and the bottom down here, okay? And the two two in the bottom down here, okay? Bam, bam. You can see it. I'm trying to put it, it's all white down here. Bam, bam. Plug in these two right here, and you you got cable. You got cable. You got signal coming into those, those two rooms, okay? All right? And let's, once you do that, you put your plate back on, okay? And don't be afraid, okay? Once you start getting used to doing stuff like this, you won't be afraid. This is the, the internet, okay? I, I can explain this too, but I'm just explaining the cable right now. All right, so that, you want to put your stuff back. Make sure it's nice and neat because people are very complaining. Like, don't put it the wrong way. You know, put it the right way. You know, you see the writing at the bottom. Make sure the writing is, you know, upright as it should be, okay? You don't wanna, you don't wanna cause no problems or whatever. With customers, oh, they did this, or this, that, and the third, or whatever, whatever, whatever. All right. Like I said, I go fast, and like I said, I don't work for this company anymore. This is a, like a tip agency type company. I did HVAC with. All right, I'm gonna try to hurry up. We probably got 20 minutes. I, that's a that's a good amount. So you just want to put it, put it back. This is funny. So this is a, all right. There it is. It's wrong. It's the wrong way. So that's another thing too. Is I just did, as you just saw me do that little difficult moment right there. I had it backwards. I went off the reading. I should have went off the actual screws or whatever. Give me a minute. 
See, this be my problem with my eyes for real. So this be my problem with my eyes for real. I'm trying to find, trying to find a hole, trying to find a hole or something like that. So I be doing cable. I'm partially blind, and I have a bad back, so I can't even work no more. But as you see me, I'm actually working. So I can work. I can do work like this. But I know if I go back to Comcast or something like that, I'm gonna be doing all this extreme stuff. Crawl space addicts, addicts. Lifting the heavy ladder, I can't do that stuff no more. But I can do this, it's simple. I don't, it don't take that much. And some people, the lazy people, what I call it, some people, they use that drill to do it. But like I said, unless you, you know, you want to stay light, you don't want to have, you in tight spaces and stuff, the drill on you or leave it somewhere, something like that. So don't be confused. Like the way I talk is the way I talk, but I know what I'm doing. So basically, that's how you would basically find a junction box in an apartment complex. Then you find the main feed, which would be called the MDU, or rather, that's going to be just the main feed. And then outside of that, it's going to be the MDU. It's different steps to it. With this apartment, I don't know because it's direct TV only and it's hidden somewhere. Okay. So with that. I'm going to leave it at that. I don't have any fittings over to show you how to put a fitting on and stuff like that. Those are your basic things that you're going to learn anyway. So these are for a video for very, very basic brothers and sisters, whoever doesn't want to get into cable, how you would find, how you would do it in, in an apartment, okay? All right, that's how you would do it. It's really easy. It's e e doing an apartment really is very, very easy. Doing a house might be a little bit harder because you might have to drill holes. But if you got it pre-wired like this, it would be easy. But it's simple. You want to find a junction box. All right, it's going to look something like this. It can even be smaller. It can be dangling out. It can be anything like that. But in my apartment, it's in the closet in our bedroom, which is also where the laundry situation is at. And this is where the main feed at. This is where the cake, the where the Ethernet, all that stuff is in here. You take that off and you do your thing. Okay, you find your line where you need to hook it up at, as I just showed you. Beep, bop, boop, and you get it done. All right, you check your signals and all that stuff, your signals and all that. Make sure your signals are good. And then you're straight, okay? And then get your, get your cable boxes hooked up. And once you get your cable box hooked up, wait for that, do your process, make sure it's on, explain to the customer how to use everything, how to use the remote, maybe more than anything, how to use the remote, just different features on the box and everything like that. You don't have to explain everything. Just act, tell the customer, you know, do you want me to explain everything? Well, I can just explain a few things. They'll sometimes say, just, just tell me the initial stuff or they'll be like, I got it, I'll figure it out, stuff like that. And then you just go ahead and leave, make sure everything's closed up, everything's put back, not too much of a mess. And just uh make your way out, you know. All right. So with that, that's that video on that. And with that, shalom, shalom. Or.